little short on, on people. Who is here for a health check? And there hasn't been two health checks? All right, let me take your piggies from you. Yeah. I have five. You have five in yes. three carriers? Yeah. Okay, one, two, and then just, can you walk with me to yeah. that one? Okay. Hi, guys. It is busy, busy, busy. Okay. It's like, we always have a... I'm getting the tripod one sec. <laughs> oh, we're fine. Okay, let me just move over. These ones. Okay. Those are the ones who need the weight. I'm wearing them right now. Okay. All right. And this is health check. Um, this is health nails. check. Okay. These are health checks. Their, their nails are long. Yeah. Okay. And you guys can wait behind there. Uh, oh, for the, the health stuff? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just yeah. wait there. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. We're, you know, we're still trying to do the COVID thing, even though we're not wearing masks. Probably should, actually. Probably should. But we're not. Um, I don't have my tripod yet, so we're I'm waiting on that. Who's this? You can pop them up I on was a... told to do color coding, but it's not highly on this one. Well, this is down. Okay. Pop it up against that. Yeah. This? No, against, against that. No, okay, well, I'll just hold it. Just hold it. I'll just it. hold it. it. Hi, Elia. Hi, Skunk. You guys have fun last night? Oh, my goodness. Dr. Nan's not here today. I think I'm not sure next week or the week after. Don't drop the camera. Hi Brigitte. I hope not. But you know me. I managed to drop it last night during the life as well. We are all very tired and sleep. Well, I, I, I did actually get my eight hours. I did. I had to. I was I was late coming in. That's why we're late with the with the live. Late late with everything because we just um, I just I had to because if I don't get that, then then I'm a wreck. I'm a total wreck because the work is so physical and running around. And yesterday was like you know we did nine hours of of streaming, and it's awesome. But the the thing is is that you. We are like constantly running back and forth. Is someone helping you guys, sweetheart? Yeah, we already have. Okay, good. Okay. I'm, I'm going to start on them. I just need my tripod. So then, sorry. <laughs> um, so we have all the baskets set up, right? And then we have to, like, this is for so-and-so. And then we got to go, okay, run around and find the basket. And it's like constant back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Hey, keep you in shape. Hi, Michelle, Jordan, guinea pig Sue. Okay, I'm gonna go get the. <laughs> yeah, drop the camera. I actually busted my camera. You know, I, I dropped this thing like two times a day at least, like really big, big hard slams because I'm just so clumsy like that. And it's held up with the OtterBox around the phone it's held up and i was like so bummed to see that the screen is busted now actually so oh thank you and oh thank you yeah we use a lot of that all of that we use a lot of all of that hey tanya hey truffles hannah so my table is a big mess as usually, so I'm going to try and make a little bit of... Oh, I need new sneezer, sneeze, sneezy things, tissues. <laughs> Man, me and my, 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 I'm good like that? Yeah, yeah. And the way I make up words for things. You know what I'm missing? I'm missing a hairband. I'm going to put a hairband as soon as I can. Oh, Jesus. As soon as my next break, I'm getting air in. Just so y'all know. Very important stuff. Where is Elizabeth? <laughs> uh, I just saw her. I need the. Phone. All right. I'm going to start yeah. my checks. Elizabeth. So let me get you guys in place for that. You need to hold it here so that I can bring y'all down to the table. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you so much without dropping the camera, huh? All right. Yeah, let's not drop the camera. Okay. Oh, we got a donation. 
decoration. You got a what? Thank you, skinny pig Sue. Oh, thank you, Sue. We had some skinny pigs earlier, actually. There's my big, yes, bottle of sanitary, hand sanitary. This is clean. Next, piglets. You, I need to do a health check on these? Yeah. these are, they're waiting, they're waiting to watch the Okay. Yes. I'm gonna go see. It gives extraordinary skin. Yes, yeah, 582 grams. Yeah, there's something going on. Yes, that's what I'm trying to say. How old is she? About two years old, according to them. Well, she's got, they got her from us. She got her from us, and she's been the same since then. What about the nipples? She's got crusty nipples. One vet, one vet said that she might have hormonal imbalances causing it. Only one. Then they've been doing a bunch of tests. Okay, so can you tell her to make an appointment with Dr. Nan? Sure, Okay, good. Because that is what I just pulled off her nipple. So yeah, she does have the crusty nipples, which are... Uh, sorry, sorry. Sorry for what? Oh, I hit Julia. Oh. With the basket. Yeah, that feels better, huh? Nipple freed. They sometimes become um, deformed, even. So I put lots of... It's almost like they become this spongy... I don't know how to explain it. This spongy kind of material almost. Actually, so funny. I say this, uh, a cow udder, they eat those in Europe. And when you cut those, um, it's spongy. Isn't that interesting? I just remembered that. It's really spongy and uh, it's a delicacy. Not for me, of course. I don't. I don't eat my friends, but um, I, I, I used to before I became uh, a non-animal eater. And um, so sometimes when they're really, really badly uh, deformed, you can take off all the crusts around it, and what is left is almost a, a nipple, but it's it's almost spongy. Like it also has little holes in it. It's really bizarre. And those are the ones that have really bad. I mean, I always say that the worse the stuff around the nipples, the worse the animal is. And so I don't know if this one has always been skinny, if she lost weight, but you are way skinny, girl. You are definitely something going on with you. That's fun. He does have spunk, but... But yeah, I worry. So... In two weeks, I think? Or, no, next week. Or whatever in the document is coming. Yeah, but, you know, her appointments book up immediately, so... No, they already have an appointment, Oscar. Oh, good! I told you, like, that they already told me that they were going to see her. Okay, good. She, she, she's, busy. she's my boss again. She's bossy. <laughs> What is it that? And no, I only get you, you short with I, you. I only get short when I said it a bunch of times and you aren't out. processing it because then you listen to me when I speak like that. <laughs> you and I I've need been to go. Uh, we need, oh, I do feel. Couples therapy? I do feel uh, a. Long? Well, yeah. I felt like a ridge. I can't tell if it was the bone because I was holding her well, at a weird the angle. The easiest way is to, I was is holding to, her. Is to go straight. And so I was at a weird in. angle. So I would definitely the job, right? say that there, this, this is not a, there's definitely something going on here with the glands. So, okay. so everything's probably out of whack. It could like be. Like the whole system, the whole like. Yeah, but is she drinking more water? I asked them that immediately and they said no, she doesn't is she, is she, she eats so more. she appear to eat more? Yes. Okay, so then very likely she that has she is hyper hyperthyroidism. Okay, that's what I told them. That's what I told them that it was likelihood of that. Yeah, you feel the feel the lump on her neck. They all have it, but it is it is bigger when they have hyperthyroid. I know. So she then uh. would appear to be a, a, a typical hyperthyroid pig. But I thought I felt that, but I thought it was I couldn't tell if it was the bone because I was holding yeah. her and her and chest was like. Yeah, and then they can eat and eat and eat and just not put the weight on. But did you feel the lump? I just felt it now. Okay, that's so, what I felt when I was holding her, but I wasn't sure if it was her rib cage that I was feeling or her lump because she was, you know, squished in. Yeah, and you need to feel enough of it to, to understand and to know. Hi, honey. I'm so sorry because that is. If that is the case, that's a pretty serious diagnosis for you. Yeah. There is medication for it, and that's usually how it's diagnosed, is that they actually give them the medication. They usually will have an enlarged node there. Give them the, the medication for it, and if it works, well then, I guess you diagnosed it, you know? Uh, there is a test, but 
it's uh, not always accurate from what I understand. So doctors will often just give the meds and if it works, well then we have a positive diagnosis. But yeah, this is what the hyperthyroidism does. It uh, makes them eat, get very, very hungry. Often they get very, very uh, thirsty, which she does not have. That's why I was like, oh. Yeah. And they eat and eat and hey. eat and eat and they just lose weight. So that is not good. And then on top of that, she's got the, you know, something going on in her reproductive system. Yeah, she's thin, thin as a rail. Okay, a little bit of ivermectin just to keep you safe from any other stuff we don't need on top of this. Take your DTs, but we did that already. But oh no, I did not. She's got some food stuck here on the bottom, so I want to take that out. Yeah. Okay, we don't want food stuck there because if it's stuck, it can start to create a fermentation of the food. Uh, none of that is good. That creates a uh, an, an bacterial imbalance in the mouth and you know it can give them chelitis and, and, and all kinds of stuff. Not good. Yeah. I still gotta get my guinea pigs here. Now this is her friend who is a very different big girl. Look at her. She's a big girl. She's a big lady. Yeah, the big lady. Okay. So let's do you. Okay. She's got black nails and I know it's scary to do black nails so I always tell people you know this is your nail right there before it starts curling. So right here is where you can cut it. And if you stick with that, then you should be okay. Okay. Right, Missy? I'm taking care of you for a while. Yeah. Next, whoopsies. So I'm holding her different than usual because I don't know. She's she's letting me, but this is definitely not the way I usually do <laughs> do the pigs. Because she just wants to stand up here. I can sense it. So and she's not gonna do anything else. She'll just stand there. So that's fine. But this one we can do like that, Mama. Your pussy, you're very sweet. So sweet. There. Okay, now let's go find other stuff. Let's hope not, but I always tell everyone I want you guys to find me stuff. Find it. So that. No, you definitely need the ears. He's clean, a little dirty. Sorry, all this stuff here, you can't really see what I'm doing. Gonna move that <laughs> ear massage for you. Okay, neck is good. Lymph nodes. It's good. Not wet. Any stones? Nipples are. Okay. Yeah. You're yeah, okay, Mama. Let's go clean your ears now. Yes, sweetheart. This is a border. He's made the pepper now. Um, he was in a tower cage. I'm not sure if this is a ring room or if it's a stab. That might have fallen off or scraped to himself. Alright. I hope not. Yeah. Oh, good. 
Okay, well, just tell him that it looks like it's some kind of a scrape or a little wound, but to treat it as a ringworm just in case. And be given the, the treatment sheet. They're all up to date now. Okay, the pretty lady. Say hi, everybody. Hi. I feel like my camera's a little. They need the nose clean. Yeah, let's get her hair. I don't think he gave her. Can we get the nose clean? I gotta get some more tissues too. You. You're welcome. Is this the Apex? No. Yes. This yes. one? Yeah. So they're they gonna get it. Oh, they're leaving. Yeah, this one. Oh, okay. Um, how long are they gonna be gone for? Just a few days, right? Yeah, we're picking them up next Friday. Okay. Okay. So. Okay, so then you can address the the, the yes, they'll pay physical issues. Okay, sorry guys, I'm gonna wipe your nose, see if it makes a difference. You guys take care. Sorry, maybe you'll be the judge of that. If you go. Don't don't put a pick here. I just cleaned it. I'm doing a whole check there. I just took it Okay, ma'am. <laughs> bossy, bossy boots. <laughs> Gotta be careful because then she's gonna think that she can be bossy. That it's a that it's a thing now. <laughs> oh gosh. I'm kidding. Am I? Okay. Um Pence. And then who's next? Okay, I got a big row behind me. Let me show you guys. These are all need to be checked. Oh, I hate these scariers. Okay, oh, it's open up already. Yeah. Hi, Piglet. Hello. Hi, Piggy Pig. There. Look at this pretty Piglet. Hi, sweetheart. Hi, sweet pie. All right, Missy. Let's start. Okay. Start here, start here, and here. This feels good. Pretty nosy. Oh, I got a little nibble. Thank you. The ears are actually clean. So let's do your nailsies, and then we're gonna look at your business. See what's going on. I hope we're gonna get a stone. I become so good at the stones that I, I usually now have them out within within two three minutes, where before it could sometimes take 15, but now it's like boom. In fact, I did one a couple of weeks ago. I had to leave. I had an appointment, but and this lady came in, and it was Friday. And Fridays I always reserve for people to just come walk in when they have teeth uh, pigs. So, and uh, she came at way at the end of the day when I didn't expect. But anyway, she came from far. Um, she said that the doctor had not looked at her guinea pig's mouth yet because she felt that the guinea pig was too um, weak to undergo the anesthetic. And I go, wait, they have to uh, anesthetize the guinea pig in order to look in the mouth to see if there's a teeth issue. So that was already big alarm bells for me. Um, she said, yeah, they, they want to make 
get her stronger. I said, well, if they have teeth issues, they're never going to get stronger unless we address the teeth issues. And, you know, they, they just don't get better, really. Actually, the whole thing about the teeth is it, it's, it's horrific because usually it's... You have to keep trimming it and trimming it, and they get skinnier and skinnier because you just can't keep up with the syringe feeding. They're starting to eat less. The, the, what they can eat themselves is not a lot. It, it's, it's very rare that a pig gets back to 100% normal. Anyway, um, so I picked up the piggy, and, and I had the appointment, and within... I picked her up and I immediately felt that she had a stone, which the vet did not realize. And I did trim her teeth and did her um, stone all in like 10 minutes. It was amazing. I couldn't think I could do that. And she was eating. So that was a big, big win. Yeah. But you're healthy. That's good. But I, you know, I do want to actually get a little bit of stuff out of your ears. It's just a little bit dry. Okay, now let's look here. Let's look here. Oh, we got some stone here, but it's up, up high. Your stone is up high. Yes, sir. So we've had this before. It's like, wow, what is it? And we just gotta wait till it till it goes and passes by itself. And then a little massaging helps in case it is adhered to the wall, because that happens as well. So that. Mm -hmm. These are feel pretty small, so she could be able to pee these out herself. So a little massage won't help. Uh, will help with that. Yeah, I think you can pee those out. I'll have to tell our owners. Ears. My girl peed one out. I felt so bad. Like she was in pain. You know, she was like, it's like a human going. <laughs> My dad had a kidney stone, so I quit with that. She had a bad night passing it, <laughs> and then she was like, fine the next day. How big was it? it I, n I never even saw it. It was mostly sludge, so I think it kind of broke up as she peed it out. No, they don't really do that. They're pretty tough cookies, those stones. I know. They're really close to Okay. And I had separated her, too, because I was, like, worried about her. No, but just now, I mean, you are treating it upper. We don't consider it an animation so, oh, we got a mention in the Jeff and Kelly show. Is that Kelly? You know that show? What? It was on TikTok. Yeah, uh, Rain Wilson was on, and he was asked about his uh, animals, and he said, uh, first thing he said is, I have a guinea pig that I adopted from LA Guinea Pig Rescue, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'll, I'm, I'll share it on our um, social media, we're going to do that tonight. Oh, is that the post you're talking about? Huh? Is that the post you're talking about? No. No, uh, Julie Pick, Julie from the clinic, she actually sent it to me. Congratulations for your mention. Like, oh. I had no idea. So, now I do. And I saw it, it was cute. Like, Kelly, what's her face? You know, Kelly, uh, the talk show lady. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think and then she's got a new guy. I don't know, maybe you guys know or saw that. Oh, you saw it. He said LA Guinea Pig Rescue. Yeah, I know. And I don't even remember this guy coming. But it was back in 18, actually. Hi there. You are so cute. Does she have a surgery? So, guys, next time. Did she have a? Yeah. When you're coming, don't uh, don't put two in one because it's when I put my hand in there, it's really warm. Even though it's not so hot outside, uh -huh. it's really hot inside. Um, so don't use any blankets. Just use a cotton towel and then one per uh, carrier for the summer. It's really going to make a big difference. And the other thing is, 
when you're going somewhere, put um, a frozen water bottle, like a little one. Put them in the freezer the night before, wrap them in an old sock and stick them in the carrier. You will know for sure they will not get a heat stroke. All right, yes. Because I felt bad holding her like that for so long. <laughs> she was being so good. She doesn't have a nipple. Does she have a surgery or something? Or did she just have a Something's birth defect? born defect, yeah. She's missing a nipple. <laughs> yeah, I saw a nipple. It's just small. No, it's, it's just a, it's a flat nipple. Yeah, birth defect. <laughs> okay. Oh, mama. Good thing you don't need it. All right, it. let's do your nails first. Then we'll check out everything else. Let me see. You look very healthy, beautiful, shiny coat. Nice weight. You look great. Who's adopting this one? Yeah, you got a special girl. You know how they have these KB shows and it's all about how pretty the KB is? Maybe we should have a KB show about uh, the winner is the one with the nicest personality. <laughs> I think I like that better. And no breeding. Okay, Mama. There. Okay, on their side. On the carriage. Let's have a look. Yeah, you are good. You are so healthy looking. I love it. You are so healthy looking, Mama. Yeah. Okay, good girls. Um, so, I don't know if I want to tell this, but it's pretty exciting. I'm so excited about it. Shall I tell it? What? I don't know what you're going to tell. Oh, I'm always working on exciting stuff, but, um, Dr. Nan and I were discussing neutering on a local. Now, if we can do that, that would be an amazing, an amazing huge breakthrough for all guinea victim. Now, what is nice about working with a livestock vet is that they are used to do everything um, but they can. on location and a lot of stuff they do on a local. Um, and hey, if we start with a little, little, little guy, like a two month old, we can, she can literally just get that little peanut separated, make a teeny little incision, all local, because it's all so small, pop out the little bean and get the little bean out, clamp it, stitch it, stick it back in the skin, grab the skin and do a couple stitches to stitch the skin back together and we're done. So with the little guys, that should be a very, very fast surgery on the local. Now that is awesome, right? And I, I'm pretty confident that, that it can be done. So we're gonna try on, on the little boys and then we're gonna see how, you know, because with the bigger guys, they have bigger testes. The concern is keeping it sufficiently numbed. That is obviously the concern. So we're thinking about it, we're talking about it, and we will soon start to uh, try it with, you know, one little boy, which I know will be a success. I, I know it will. Where is the paperwork? I don't know. Elizabeth put them there and said, don't worry, I'll do this order. This is how oh, they're ordered. Oh, 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 yes, it's okay. Yeah. You're okay. Okay, you're scared. I get it. 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 It's okay. It's okay. Um, I think we can do it like that. 
holding the piggy like this, and then she can do her, her business, Dr. Nan. Just get the teeth to go out. You see, because regularly what they do um, in these surgeries is if this were a male, which she's not, they make, and this is would be where the wiener is, right? Because we know it goes inside. They make two incisions, one and one. And it's, it's horrific because I saw the surgery and the doctor actually mentions, well, be careful over here because you might nick the bladder. Be careful over there because if you go a little too far here, you might nick the colon. And be careful when you're stitching everything shut because you might actually stitch something uh, with it. And that's exactly what happened to Pedro. Mm. She stitched something else to his stitch. And as soon as he started walking, it, it started muscle. bleeding. Yeah, muscle or something to the skin. To the skin, and he bled out. Now the way that I'm proposing, we're gonna do it. That is not a possibility because we're not making these internal abdominal incisions, which I never understood. If you can just, you know, take the testicles and just focus on that area. It's just like a cat neuter where you just make a little incision, pop out the testy and, and clamp it off and, and, and bobs your uncle, as they say in England. Have you heard that one? Bobs your like uncle. Once or twice, maybe. <laughs> all, all our English, they will uh, appreciate that one. Bobs your uncle. So, yeah. That is another crusade of mine because I, I'm just, I, 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 I get physically ill looking at these surgeries where they make those abdominal uh, incisions and the pig is completely under, I mean, oh. Oh my God, what just happened? Oh no, how the heck did that happen? I have no idea, I got both pigs. me, me. It just totally fell apart. Yeah, the whole thing fell apart. It's like a, a crate that you put together, plastic crate. Things came in it. I don't know how it jumped off the table. That's not possible. How did it jump off the I table? I think that they might have moved in it and then it like collapsed and fell. I don't know. I don't want to put them back in it really. Well, let's see if we put it back up, if it's stable or not. From what I saw, the, the box fell apart first, I think. That That's what I think was... Yeah probably happened. I don't think that the box is very it secure. Was, it was really on that table. So I'm gonna... Uh, this part is not secure. So Ooh, I'm gonna like get them something else to put them in. Oh, you like it. Something Good else girl. for you guys. Come here. All right, Come well, here. she's dealing with that. I'm, on my other hand, is holding... Do I not wear gloves? Yes, I do. But not for everything. I don't do gloves for absolutely everything. Not for scrunch, chin scratches. Uh, but I do uh, disinfect my hands between every game. Yes. Those two boys that were David, that were boarders, did you already look at them? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I already told her. Um, the owner needs to be called to let them know. Um, one has a bottom top teeth have broken but it's growing in the other one has a lip injury that kind of extends to the inside that i've disinfected so they should be fine okay. yeah that's all my, it's all minor stuff okay so I, I can't really do much because i gotta wait for jules to come back with the bin for the piggies and i've got another one on the table here hi hi so we might as well just uh talk a little bit oh she's here new situation she's here move this move i know chin scratches they love it okay stay with me little one stay with me i've got one here i'm holding what's it over your head i'm feeling a lump can't help myself. I'm just petting a guinea pig. You peeing? You peeing? Yeah, what is this? You're shaking your head and everything. What is it? 
Are these together? They know each other? No. This is a different pig? Okay. It's all right. Yeah, she's got a little lumpy on her head. Wait. Oh, that's pumpkin. Yeah, that's pumpkin's got Pumpkin's got a lump on her butt. Do you know that one? Oh, jeez. Yeah, that's a big lump. Oh, but pumpkin and rock seed. They come all the time. They're aware of it, the vet and monitoring. Them. Okay. But where's the lump on her? Yeah, she's had that one, I think, for a while. Yeah, that's fine as long as it doesn't grow. She's a lumpy pig, okay? Don't, don't the judge pumpkin. The pigs are lumpy. <laughs> All right, Are you we go back. On me? Let's go back and down. Good girl. Oops, where are we? I know, I love you too, Pumpkin. Yeah. Good girl. See, and then I'll actually... Pumpkin peed all over me. my hands again because I touched the other pig. So I'm a little, a little anal. But that's not a bad thing. Oh, I make everybody feel that. bad because I'm constantly reminding them. Did you just make the pee pee? Good girl. Yeah, she peed all over me. Yeah, nice. Pee pee time. Okay, 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 you're good. You're good. You're good. I think you're all, we're done with you. Whoa, my goodness. Is she always this wild? Yeah, the Sullivan pigs are all like that, sorry. Yeah, so you know I have some videos on taming that really work. Yeah, I, 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 I've, I've checked out your YouTube channel. I, 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 I take the advice in when I, when I need it. Uh, yeah, check it out. but the taming like really, that. really works, so but you gotta stay with it. That's the yeah. thing. You gotta it stick with it. That, uh, as you, you you might have noticed with her especially, um, they were born uh, like just completely in like the ownership of me because when I, I was in one from a while ago when I brought them in, and one of my pigs was from Petco and they completely misgendered. Oh them. my goodness! So I ended up with like seven pigs for a while. Yeah. But um, yeah, she's, she's one of those. She's one of those babies. Okay. So yeah. When you have that many them. and you don't have the time to spend the social. No, I get it. I yeah, get it. What's it called? They, they, they all get along in their own kind of like, well, because like, three of them are girls. Well, um, yeah, one the of them, girls will get along. They thought she had a hormone issues, but it ended, she ended up being fine. And she just kind of is like an anti-guinea pig, guinea pig. I oh, know. interesting. Yeah. Okay. She, she was the one you just, uh, the first one you took out, the, the green, the, I mean, the what's called. Oh, this very yeah. first yeah, one. Yeah, the, the, one, the one who's on her own, basically. Right. She, uh, we, we thought that she had a hormone imbalance or something like that, um, but it turns out that she just like, yeah. hasn't like she has like a personal thing against the other ones because she used to get along with everyone and yeah then, like she got um the other uh adult uh female guy and they, they haven't like reconciled that i see okay these are two males you know. that come with the same group but i'm leaning <laughs> in between because i don't want this smelling of girlies and then their boys falling out yeah, I have to deal with that a lot too. It's because a, they get very excited when they smell the girls and then they get very excited with each other. And that's a, the easiest way to, to unbond a pair is to expose them to the smells of females. It's just an air cleaning one. Yeah, also literally Especially for that one, by the way, I've, I've never been able to get it down. Yeah, well, practice is what I always say. Yeah. Okay. You're scared, but you just got to do it. Just got to start it. Have no fear. <laughs> Be fearless. <laughs> but now I get it. Especially with dark nails, it's it's tough. You get it all the time. Okay, so now I'm wearing gloves. See that? It's because now I'm going to do icky stuff that requires okay. gloves. Icky stuff. Icky stuff. I got to write a song about that. Okay. Icky stuff. Let's go. Let's start with you, Winky. Let's start with you, Winky. 
That would be a really weird song. Okay, nice. Looks good. Put it back. Good boy. Put it all back. Good job. Now for the next part. Look at that. He's got some of that slimy poop. Slimy poop. I usually don't like that. They can get that when they're very sick, but he looks just like a very healthy baby. Okay, let's dig out the stuff in your pocket, buddy. There. Juicy. Wow. Ooh, juicy. <laughs> I am so weird. But that's okay. Okay, mister. Alright, ears. Might as well. Black ears usually have a lot of stuff will come out. Just it looks dramatic because the skin is black and then all that stuff is black too. Roxy knows better, but she's frustrated with me, so she goes to bite, and then, you know, she just holds it there and doesn't bite down. <laughs> oh, cute. He knows better. You know, it's rare to have a real biter biter, but they do exist. Ruby bites me every, my girl Ruby, my white abby, bites me every time I startle her in her hidey. Yeah, but... She like, just immediately lashes out at the first thing that touches her. Well, is she blind? <laughs> No, she's just a bitch. Because she might not see it coming. And then no, she sees me coming. She's just not paying attention. What? Oh, your phone? I haven't seen it. Allison? I, no, I Allison. think Allison, Allison put it on her phone as well. Well, Allison our, needed her our phone. Our charging phone kind of died. So we're having to scramble with everyone else's phones right now. Including mine, but of course we cannot use this one right now. Oh, I need to put the juicer in on the phone. Okay, boy. It's all nice now. Clean. Is you clean? It's all on the Q-tips. There. Good boy. Good boy. I'm hoping a gentleman comes with that guinea pig from last week. No, I wasn't here last week. I don't know. Oh, you weren't here? Oh my goodness. What about my brother? You're good. Okay, that's his friend. That's his bro. He's next. Okay. Basically, like when they fight, one goes to the other side. You have to separate up the hay. Okay. Oh, Josh, okay. Two feet. Good boy. Okay, let's get some stuff in your ears. You are very skittish, too. One and a half. It's got to be more even to everything. This looks like we got to be good for sure. All right, let's All right, start with your nails, kiddo. Let's start with your nails. Yeah, okay. I would Did we find the um, cal um, cal callus color? No, I couldn't find any. It's got a and super I don't know where they moved the new ones here. to. I don't know where that means. I can just do it in pieces. The side piece. Side That's what I piece. do. I work it back and forth. Work, work it. <laughs> work it, girl. <laughs> there. Yeah, I think that's good.
Good boy. There. Mm -hmm. Let's check your lighting. Let's check your Mickey. He's so uncomfortable, you can tell. He's like, what are you doing? It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. And do you have any dishes there? Ooh, can I get a few? Thank you. Okay, let's get your business done. This never tires, right? The business. So I have another video of Dr. Nan doing a conscious uh, assist. And um, I gotta post this one. Because I got I got a bunch of them actually. I still haven't posted it. I'm just afraid that YouTube is gonna respond really angrily against this one because I don't wanna cover up the the pieces that are important, you know. Well the stitching I guess I could cover that up or, but stitching is the least graphic of everything you have in in, a, in a, any kind of operation. Well it's it's a, it's a procedure, it's not even surgery, no. right? It's just a procedure, but it involves cutting into the animal and um, lots of pus coming out or, you know, icky stuff. And Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You're okay. You're okay. Calm down, baby. It's okay. Come on. Good boy. Oh, I get to print out the surrender people forms. Well, that was a cleany weeny. I ever seen one. Yeah, buddy. And now I wanna Yeah. You're good. Just clean the whole area a little bit. Just clean the area a little bit there. Nice and clean. Good job, buddy. Yeah. Okay. So I would put your air conditioning on already, yeah. so your car is nice and cool because the, it's really hot in their yeah. little carriers. I, I have a, I have a couple fans constantly going in the room where they're in. Well, to make sure yeah, I'm just concerned about going yeah. home. Yeah, I think I put the bath in there too. Okay. So if you can get your air, your car like nice and cool now, that would help a lot. Yeah. Um, I, was, I was gonna, I was gonna air out the car before I, I, I put it back in. Okay. Uh, sauce. Mm-hmm. Uh, don't uh, forget this box goes with these pigs. In the white okay. Pig. This is their box, but this is the one that collapsed that I wanted to find out. Right. Oh. <laughs> Um, okay, I gotta figure this out, surrender out. Jules, could you take over here for me for a second? I'm taking this to the garage and I'll Okay, and then I'll just clean this, this up for you. I'm going to the because I gotta figure out what's going on with that surrender. Okay, are you ready for them? Yeah. Is your car on? Yeah. So they're all good. They're all healthy. I've been checking on them to the best of my ability, of course. I'm no expert. Yeah, they're good. Yeah, they're good. Thank you. And I'll, 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 bring, the, I'll bring them to my multiple next time next time. Yeah, that'd be much better. All right, cool. Um, that's, that's all well done? Yeah. All right, thank you. I appreciate yeah. it. You're welcome. Have a good rest of your day. You too, sweetheart. Oh, stay. Nope. Oh.
Oh my goodness. Stay. Mm, okay. Okay, 191 people. 101 likes. Come on, guys. Let's give the video a like. Unless you don't like it. Then you don't have to. second guys okay so don't go anywhere I'll be right back hi baby hi why are you in this hot thing you guys it's too hot get out of here get out of here yeah I know it's yours but it's, it's, it's too hot there sorry this is your piggies Okay, now this gets so warm, it's like an extra coat, an extra fur coat over what they already got. Um, are you guys being helped? Uh, yeah. You got us in the cardboard box. That's that, yeah. okay, okay. And is your skinny a little older? Yes. That you, makes you sense. You guys paired him with uh, Hanky. Oh, uh, nice. Just, uh, so this is Hanky's first appointment after adoption. Oh, nice, okay. Okay, okay. okay. Well, give me one second. I'm sorry, okay? I gotta run real quick and figure something out, and then then I'll we'll be back. But they're first in line. Okay, guys. So I will be back. Hi, Matt, Christy, hi, Clara, everybody. PN one one two po po your PO box hundred twelve. <laughs> I like that. All right.
So she was using, and it's yeah. cutting rainy, the one that I have, that she used to use, well now she's gone to the manufacturer and is making her own. sorry we left you. I need to get Alana a number real quick. Come on, phone. Stick the end for you, don't I? No, it's a step plus. Eight oh five. Five slash one. Eight two. She does go through a canyon to go home. Yeah. And I know where she went. She was basically across the street from home and just with an upside down. Oh okay. Yeah, so Yeah, just check me on. Okay, thank you so much. Okay. I'll be your next week for Dr. Nan. It's okay. not too too hard. Sounds good. Hi guys. Hi Fluffins and feathers. You guys, I was here till 1 a.m. last night. Oh, what did Sauce get to the camera? Sorry, I'm shaking you. Okay. Let's do some hustles. Okay. Where's she? Oh, she took the gloves. Hey, everyone. Hi, Michael. Hi, Clara. Hi, Dan. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Sue. Good to see you guys. I'm at my Saturday. Hi, Mary. Hi, Anna. We got some a nice one. Let me just get her. Hi, Sarah. Fish that's good. Stealing everyone else's food like always. Hi, Sherry. Yeah, happy Saturday. Yeah, what time is it where you are in England right now? I got skinny for you. <laughs> got rubbed in? No. <gasps> Hi, Michelle. Oh, Claire, that means so much. That means a lot, thank you. Uh, Pian, you should have seen my face this morning. I showed Saskia and Elizabeth a picture of how swollen my eyes were. <laughs> They were like, I was like, I checked with my mom. I was like, what is going on? <laughs> so we have an adoption here. Hi. Hi, look at you. Look how cute this nose is. And this one says to ask. It's 11 p.m. already. Well, that kind of makes sense because I remember one time my friend called me, my friend Sean called me from England, and he had been out partying all night, and it was 5 a.m. for him, it was like 10 p.m. for me. I was like, what are you doing awake? <laughs> I, I, I don't remember that last time. These liners are for one of the large Midwest cages, right? Like the... Um... I believe they fit it's, as it's a if it's the normal, the normal standard like standardized the, size, the yeah. Yeah. I use mine just as a, a to hold my guinea pigs and like watch movies with them or TV because it is waterproof and the pee does oh. not go through them. So that's what I personally use them for. <laughs> I know, isn't his nose adorable? <laughs> He's two faced. He's two faced. Are you? Do you like two fish? You like that? You like that? See, not so bad. Not so bad. Six ten on the east. East coast. I like the east coast. Oh, let me get it. Let me get it. My hair took me in here. I'm sorry. Okay, the ones you could adopt when I took your guinea pigs. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I know. I know. How dare I? How dare I? Why am I thinking of grabbing your foot like that? Don't you know better, human? 
That's not so bad, is it? I'm giving you a hug. <laughs> Michelle. I do too. Especially like, I love going down to the beach. Venice, the Venice boardwalk and stuff. You just hang out and you make friends. Like you don't even have to know anyone there. You can just go and chill and everyone pulls tables together and hangs out. The, all the artists that do all the graffiti work on the walls there, they're really fun. There's a hippie drum circle. <laughs> Man, let me see you. Let me see your titties. Oh, 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 can you guys see all of them? Hang on, mister. You stay here. Yeah, that's what I mean. You want me to stay right there. Good boy. Good boy. I know, this is like, this always happens oh, right yeah. when I'm trying to Saskia leave. has completely no destroyed this trip, this. Are you, are you doing it? It doesn't time? stay. Okay. Oh. Oh, you're so tiny. Now you can see him. Thank you for the donation. Here, uh, Julia, here's a, a health check Thank you, for adoption. Thank you, Shout out to Jan, Sherry's housemate. Big shout out. What up, Jan? Let's look at his teeth. Let's feel your neck. Let's feel your neck. Oh, what's that about? Look at that, you got stuff in your teeth. I have to turn this way to get it. Oh, I'm being your floss. I'm being your floss. Let it happen. Yuck. You got some gelatinous looking stuff going on, mister. Let me see that. Yeah, he stinks. Whose pig is this? So he has a little bit of um, gelitis around the mouth, which is just like that. It's um, kind of like a, a fungal sort of thing that can happen if there's food stuck around the, the teeth and stuff like that. I would just make sure to like clean it uh, with like a little cloth or something daily and put some maybe Neosporin on it just to uh, help it heal. And you'll notice it's kind of like a, it's kind of like um, skin colored or like a beige colored uh, little like spikes all around it. I'll show you right now. Yeah, around the ground. I'm not going to eat it. <laughs> I really was leaving, but I can't leave with these people that have Oh, out. no, I'm sorry. No, but you, under, I mean, I just can't. So oh, they're good ones. These are surrenders, and I just broke the end of this pin. I know, I know. Let me see your ears. Oh, you got clean ears. Look at you. Skinny with a clean ear. Okay. And just please don't forget about this one. They're waiting to get adopted. Waiting to get adopted? Well, there's one for in there in there to meet him. Oh. And they said to ask a lot of questions because there's no they didn't fill out the application. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's it's this one right here that's really this one in here. Okay. You've been home to Bye, Claire. Oh, don't fight it. You haven't been yet. Oh, don't fight it so much. It's okay, I got you. I got you, lean on me. Don't, don't collapse so much. Come on. Come on. Is this theirs? No. Where's the? Where's our phone? This isn't it. This is yours, right? Yeah, it's mine. So where's... Um, we, the checkout phone is all messed up. Uh, we've been using Elizabeth's phone. So I don't know where she is. My phone isn't working. Yeah, 
Let me see the Winky. Where's the Winky? Let me see your. Uh... It's clean. Put it away. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Clean you up, make you nice and pretty, huh? Make you nice and pretty. Oh. You went off the bus. Okay, done. 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 Oh no, he flipped you guys. <laughs> He's kicked you guys. That's hilarious. I'm sorry. Did I betray your trust? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Say goodbye. <laughs> Do I take one and just sip of it at the same time? If you want. Have you done that? No. Yes, yes, yes. Which one? Let me do it first. I'll, yes. I'll do it right now. Because that's the boy part. Yeah. Stinky, stinky boys. Okay. You have. <laughs> it wasn't me this time. No, you loosened it by move, forcing it around okay, every so time. It was my, was my it's 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 after the brute all. force. It's the brute force. Uh, yeah, of uh, Saskia. Yeah. Yeah. She's so strong, you guys. She's so tough. She doesn't know her own strength. It's so tough. Does it work? Does it go on? No. Because it's not on, probably. It didn't work. Oh. Watch it and see. Okay. See? Much better. Did it happen? Oh, uh, no. No. I'm trying to look for the thing. Um, did you do the skinny or the other guy? Julesy, did you do the skinny or the other boy? I did the skinny, but you need to do you need to do uh, the box right now because that's a boy bond that needs to go. Get ready. Look under the table. Look, no, other side, other side, under the health check. Under the health check table. <laughs> Whose baby is this? Whose baby is uh, this? Sorry, she's gonna do the next one. They're sour. One. This is one of ours. That's really skinny and it's got stuff going on, so I'm gonna get her taken care of. And then I'll have some back room and you know something's going on. Yeah. She was in the pregnancy watch. That just got pregnant so much yesterday. That came from the shelter and I saw what? her and I was like, Oh, she came in yesterday? No, she got off pregnancy watch. Oh, she's oh, 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 okay. No, no, Nippy, she's trying to nip me. Ow, ouchie, dude. Whose well, piggy is this one? No? Well, I'll do your health check um, that, anyway. That pig is uh, they're already the boy waiting bond. They're already waiting over they're there. They're already waiting for the um, adoption. It's for a boy bond. Oh, it's a pre-ink. Okay, okay. So look, the little testicles are... This is it. This is a little testy. So... What? I'm just okay, explaining stuff. Okay. And uh, so the procedure would be where she just makes this teeny, teeny incision right here. Use the next boy as an example. This boy and, has to go. And then the little testy just pops out. Much easier than, you know, doing an incision here, an incision here. It's like, I don't know, I, I refer to it as butchering, and then it's a terrible thing to say probably, but if it can be done so much easier and better. Yeah. Anyway, people are like, what? Did she just say that? Did she just show me a, a guinea pig's testicle? Yeah, I did. <laughs> um, you got a little ringwormy stuff going on, kid. Let me see. He's here to find <coughs> friend a friend. We're going to make sure he's healthy. Let me listen to you for a second. Why you're talking too much? I can't hear anything. Come on, little boy. I need a little bitey bite. Yeah. Oh, Mauricio, did I miss him? 
Did I miss my other Italian boyfriend? Let me know when you're done with him, I'm gonna kick him over. Yeah, he's, he's, a, he's a character, this little guy. Yeah? Yeah. Can be up and run. He is a funny little character. He's gonna be a humper, I know it. Humpy hump. And then the next one is the Yes. The hair. I'm sorry that you guys wait too long. Yeah, I'm I know, sorry. I told him that they, uh, we're sorry about this. <laughs> Sometimes we're like super fast and other times we are so not because we never know what just happened what come you know We just go with the flow Okay, so um Hi baby, come here So I took my break, but when I take my breaks, I actually work So I took a quick break, went to the bathroom and sat down, had a little bit of my coffee, and then of course I started looking at questions on Etsy, and so I was answering a question, and this, the girl answered me back, she goes, I'm actually watching your life. <laughs> so where are you, Infallible Beauty? That was her uh, screen name. That sounds like the universe reflected, something like really cool like that. Oh, there you are, Infallible Grace. I love that. Hi. <laughs> Hi, little boy. Okay. Let's do it the proper way. There, much easier. There. Feel your necky? Got anything going on? No. No, you do not. Okay, stay with me. Stay with me. Good boy. Good boy. Do your little plans. Go over. You can check your little business. You check your little business. He's so young. There's no business to clean. But again, I'm going to show you just this little testy. See, this is a weenie. Little testy. That's a bean. Literally, it looks like a bean. So, yeah, we can do this. Anyway. Yes, we can. And because they're so young and heal so fast, the downtime is going to be zero. I mean, yeah, baby boy. But we're not doing that to you today. There. Good job. You're a good little boy. Uh, I wanted to have a little look at your skinny. Oh, I want to have a quick look at your skinny, okay? What's that? I want to have a quickie look at your yeah. skinny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I we had two skinnies and our other one passed at the beginning of the year. Oh. He had a real bad case of pneumonia. And he had to oh, no. Store. Did he come from the pet store? I don't. We rescued him from someone. Oh, they okay. And, and they him. probably... We had, to, we had to rebond them and rehabilitate them. And um, so our, our fattest one passed away. And so we came here and you guys bonded him with Hanky, who was three weeks old. Oh. So, and they love each other. So oh, good, that's great. That's great. That's so he, Freddy. So he's got some scarring, I guess, from the other guy? Yeah, that's, yeah. He, he was a little, they were a little beat up. I think uh, whoever had them before us kept them in too small of a space. And they would, like, compete for food. And, and he was, uh, Freddy, who you have right now, was real small and skinny. And so it took us a while. We had to separate them, rebond them. Yeah. Wow, that's amazing you were able to rebond them. It, we did it slow. We put them in a, a cage with a divider, and then we would have playtime once a week. Wow, because usually it doesn't work that space. way. And uh, we did that for a long time, and then eventually we, were able, we put them in a giant kiddie pool. That was their enclosure. And they had enough space that they felt comfortable, yeah. and then we eventually moved them to a double Midwest. I see. Good. Space has a lot to do with it. Yeah, yeah. So we just, it took a lot of steps, you know, a lot of things, so. Okay. Jules forgot to do your ears, kiddo. Sorry. I'm going to do it. Okay. Yeah, we got Hanky from you guys just a few months ago. And he was, uh, yeah? Weeks, I think February. Oh, so cute. It was three weeks, and, and uh, now they're great. That is fantastic news. Let me see the, your belly because it feels a little, a little skin on the belly. No, you look good. You look good. You're good. Okay. Oh, it's okay, little Hanky.
All right, guys, here you go. You're welcome. Okay. What's next? Hi, everyone. So it's actually uh, slowing down already, which is great. We were expecting a kind of a slower day today because you can tell what's on the menu <laughs> for the day. And unfortunately, um, it's the adoptions that were not fully booked. It's, it's, the health checks are very much in demand, so the, those are completely booked. But then the health checks are, uh, sorry, the adoptions, unfortunately, no one's adopting right now. You know, everybody wants out, going on vacation after COVID. And so this is why we have this backlog. Hi, Clara. Hi, Ron. Sorry if I don't acknowledge you because you don't happen to be when I'm looking at the screen, but it doesn't mean I don't love you. I love everybody. Sarah, hi. You scored last night. Hi, Lisa, Tanya. Okay. Um, behind me, I have one surrender and one health check. That's your health check, these guys? Okay. So, let me show you Piglet. Oh, Michelle, thank you, my love. Oh, look how pretty she is. Thank you, Michelle. I'm going to bring it down so you can see this little one, okay? There. Hi, sweetie. Hi, sweetie, miss. First thing I'd actually kind of do is the neck here. If there is a, you know, a good thing to start feeling your guinea pig's neck. So if you feel some are belly, you can't feel it. And it's best if you approach it from the front and then put one finger kind of deep into the neck and you on the soft tissue right there behind the skull. And you should be able to feel like a teeny little lump and that is what it's supposed to be. It shouldn't be really detectable that easily. So once you have identified it, you can feel for it every health check and know if there are changes. Changes are not good. Plus they can get those um, abscesses in their neck and they can hide really, really well in their dewlap. You know, especially when they're a little older, a little bigger piggies. Those massive abscesses can just literally just hide in their neck. So that's why it's important to always feel. Hi, Hi darling. How are you? I'm good. Are you bringing me more stuff? Yeah, this is an outgoing adoption. Outgoing, okay. Two girls from the barn. Two barn girls, okay. And we'll see, we're doing those ASAP so they can leave. Thank you, I'm just gonna check around. Who are the owners? So I can... This, of the, the new ones? Yeah. This lady here, in the mask. Oh, okay. Yeah. Got it. There, sweetheart. Okay, now, this I'm gonna feel for glands. The gland is like right behind here. But they also get like pomas here, so it's really hard to differentiate between the um, the gland, which I can feel here. This is normal. It's almost like a like a bean, like a kid, you know, like a kidney bean. And anything after that you feel would be lipomas, which I can feel too within the skin. She's got some loose skin, and there's like these lipomas, which are just like little fat. If, if Dr. Nam were to make an incision here, open it up, she could probably just take them out quite easily, the lipomas. They're floaters, but we don't because they're not any, you know, they're not really giving us any trouble. All right, you need a little help down there, don't you, kiddo? You see your teeth? Now... Okay, good. Phew. Phew. No piggies in the world. Um, it's been a rough week. I'm going to tell you about it later when I sit down and have a moment. 
it's been a rock week and I'm, we haven't even announced a whole bunch of stuff to the public yet, which you're going to hear it first. Lots of drama happened and heartache and heartbreak. So I will tell you all as soon as uh, I get a moment, okay? Okay, sweetheart. Yeah, man. But at least I've told you the good news already about the neutering. I'm so excited about that because if that works and we can somehow figure out how to keep the area, local area, numbed enough that we could perhaps do uh, the, some of the older guinea pigs too, rather than just the little ones with the little beans, then that would be a, a massive breakthrough. And if vets would uh, adopt that particular technique, then Pedro would, you know, would have been, things like Pedro wouldn't happen. Pedro is a guinea pig that we, there is a video on Pedro. People that have heard us mention Pedro and, and don't know what we're talking about, find the video, Pedro. I did a tribute video for him. Um, it is the saddest story that we've had in the, kind of probably the history of the rescue. And he was basically, um, the, 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 the surgeon stitched something together, um, which caused him to bleed out on the way home. So when he got home, he was already half dead. And he was, everybody loved him because he had gone through such incredible, incredible pain and a hard time that anyway if you haven't seen it I, I, I do urge you to watch it it is sad but it also gives you a great a great insight into what we go through here what we deal with the the, the, the heartache the pain you know it's always just that's this is that a little rod right here, baby And that was a little rud. Get everything out. So more here. Good job. Okay, that's done. That's done. So, yeah, I'm not a doctor, okay? But it is a passion of mine to find out what is wrong and how can we do it better? How can we do it better? How can we uh, find different ways? to deal with certain issues in guinea pigs, that is my passion. I mean, nights and nights and nights, I'm up till three looking at scientific papers on tests that, that have been done, usually on uh, lab guinea pigs. That is where you're gonna find the most information about new drugs being tested, etc. cetera. Um, and also articles from the 20s to 30s to 40s, they were very much into guinea pig research and they come up with some really incredible stuff that, that is useful. And so that's what I do in my off time, if I have off time. I, I look at uh, scientific uh, guinea pig research ma um, articles and papers. Okay, one more and then it's your turn, okay? No, this is your pigs, then the other lady. <laughs> Look at him, he's a good boy, a cute boy. Yeah, and you know what was interesting, uh, you just say that now, um, Dawn. What is interesting is that I was having this conversation, just like I'm having it now with you guys, about all these different procedures that can be done differently, that don't need to be, you know, put on a... So I, I, I spoke to her husband, and, and um, they're actually in the process of taking over a big clinic and a hospital, so which is all great news. Um, so they can start doing guinea pig surgeries as well, and they have a surgical suite. But um, 
I was talking to him about it and I was saying, because I'm of course looking at it from the point of the owner and the guinea pig, what is best for the guinea pig and the finances for the owner, right? That 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 is what I'm looking at. So I'm telling my story and explaining how amazing this is that we are doing these tests on a local that, you know, I'm sure some vets have done them on a local, but generally speaking, they don't. Um, and I explained to this how, how, how amazing this is, how, you know, what a breakthrough and blah, blah, blah. And he said, yeah, but you know what? And I said, I just don't understand why not every vet is doing it like this. It's just no brainer, really. And then he said, well, you know, it's cheaper. And I, I just realized at that moment, ah, okay. Yes, it is cheaper to do it this way. So there is less money to be had. And unfortunately, that does play a big point, uh, you know, a big part in the care that you are given. Like you go to your guinea pig for a upper respiratory, to, with your guinea pig to a vet for an upper respiratory, and you may get an estimate that is on the high side includes everything under the sun. You know, let's do blood panel, let's do an x-ray, let's do an ultrasound. And before you know it, your guinea pig that has a sneeze uh, is presented with a $1,500 bill. And that's because they tag on all this stuff. And sure, it would be helpful to have the x-ray, would be helpful to have all this the other stuff. But it's not necessary. Guinea pig just needs antibiotics. So, and a lot of people don't know. They get a little um, overwhelmed. They just want their, to help their pet, and they feel their bad pets if they're gonna, you know, deny this, deny that. But then I always say to everybody here, okay, if you're there for antibiotics, you're there for antibiotics, you know. Unless the vet says, hey, I see something, there might be something there, that's different. But, you know, if it's like, ooh, why don't we do this just in case and check if something else might be there, no, don't do it. Because that's when your price is going to rise crazy. Just for antibiotics, you shouldn't be out more than 150 to $200, which already is quite a bit for some antibiotics. All right, little guy, let's... Uh, Let's get your business done. So I hope this is helpful information for y'all. Let me just see where you all are. $200 for an exam. Okay, well that's exorbitant and it's, I don't think that's, that's the first time I heard for such an enormous uh, uh, exam fee. And I hope that the, that the vet actually knew about guinea pigs because that's the other thing. They, they might not know they do charge you that crazy exam fee and they don't even really know what they're looking for unless they are experienced guinea pig doctors and you still be paying like full whack for you know a doctor that is not that experienced and it just doesn't seem fair to me you know the times that people have gone to an exotic vet and and um you know, yeah. You were right about the little boy. He is humpy. I knew it. He's a humpy one. Um, no, I forgot what I was saying. Darn it. Yeah. Are back? Well, I'm going to load up some high and water bottles and stuff and take them back. Are you able to go to the Okay, you are good to go, little boy. You are good to go. Got the ears he's done. Got some ivermectin on you. Just quickly check. Wait, we need a little more than that. Get up my syringe. Get you a little bit more, little guy. There. And just give you a quick test. Who's picking up poker? Yeah, he doesn't look like he's got anything. He looks really well taken care of, but I just want to make sure. Do a test every now and then. Because lice do exist and they do like to colonize guinea pigs. Uh, do you have a different. Um, Carrier, and it fell apart. So, can I just check it and fix it? Oh, sure. Yeah. Yeah. 
Absolutely. Okay, so now on to the barn girls that were adopted. Which are NorCal Bull Girls. Which is always exciting. NorCal Girls. What? They're not NorCal Girls? Yeah, NorCal, NorCal Girls. Yeah, they look it. Are they some boys? That's right. No. Girlsy girlsies. Yes, of course. I'm sorry. big fat girl because we give you guys lots of food lots of healthy food yeah it's good does it work because it's collapsible so ah okay we well just go ahead and, and grab them from there sweetheart all right let's start with the nails that's one funky nail. This is usually happens with a trauma when they develop these really crazy nails. So I'm going to have to uh, chip away at this one too. Chip chip till I get to where I want to go. This is about here. Yep. She has a lot of extra skin, like most older piggies. Get, you know, getting around three years old, they just develop this, you want to go, this extra skin. But you also want to feel for the, okay, hold on, Missy, for the bean that is the gland. And you want to make sure that that is not inflamed. And again, it's hard to tell unless you felt a bunch of them or at least start feeding your guinea pig and identifying where it is so you know when there's changes. And you have a little bit dirty ears, so let me take care of that. And you're not the easiest. Okay, Lola. There. Good girl. Would you like that? Some love the hair massage. Look at her. She's loving it. Oh, they're so good. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Others are like, stay away from me. Oh, while we do that, let's look at the underside, the undercarriage. The undercarriage look good. I do notice that you have some fungus. You have some fungus on the feet. Did you do this adoption? Um, I took over from Elizabeth. Okay. Yeah. Can you tell Elizabeth that one of them has fungal feet, so the owner need, uh, needs like a cream and needs to be informed what to do. And the cream they get for free, if you can find her. Yeah. So she can start that process with the adopter. Where would the cream be? Over there. Okay. Yeah, it's just a... Uh, and then the information sheet? For... I've given them some information sheets. Have given. But there's a special one on foot fungus. Okay. Yeah. What? It's only 
need to clean in eight years. They're like toddlers. Don't touch my hair. Don't wash my hair. Don't wash my face. <laughs> Don't clean my ears or cut my nails. You gotta bribe them. Gosh. If I let my son, like, if I would not force him, he would look like little Tarzan in the jungle. <laughs> like a three years old. Okay, Missy, we're going to give you this. I even make them. What? It's okay. You need a little taming. You do. Thank you. Okay, this is her buddy. It's her buddy. It's so pretty girl. Yeah. It's the orange and white day today. Thank you, mommy. You know, I always say just do both, but that is, this is the one, they both look alike, so maybe the bigger one, I don't know if you can identify them. Yeah. Which one of these creams? Does it matter? They're all the same. Yeah. taking them out of the environment in the barn where they live like guinea pigs supposed to live right in big groups and uh, with a lot of space so they can just go where they want and move away from the others if they feel like it and uh, so in a way it kind of makes me sad but we always make sure all our adopters have the proper size cages because we do not do an adoption without uh, checking the cage, seeing photos of it, etc. So we know they're not going to end up in like a pet store cage. That would be, oh, that would be the not worst nightmare for any guinea pig adoption rescue, I would imagine. There. Okay. And then I have two surrenders behind me. One came from us and one did not. So, these are on the wish list actually, I don't know if this, I hope someone has bought them, but they're starting to kind of break and but they're just so amazing and we don't have them for inside, where we also need them. Um, so. I don't know if the admin had the list to our wish, a uh, link to the wish list, but that would be awesome. And also, we, if you have the smile, Amazon set to the rescue, then, the, and every purchase you make on Amazon will get like a teeny little bit of it. So, <clears throat> that would be fantastic. And, oh, and the other thing is, is we also have, um, we also have a I gotta go really down <laughs> it's um, it's a curated listings of Amazon things we buy at Amazon that we use at the rescue so most of the stuff you see us use here I've made um, I've made a listing of so there's a link to that I, I don't know mods girls if you have that listing but it's Amazon slash LA guinea pig rescue to come or something um, But that would be nice to put on so that you can see what it is we use and some of the things that you might also want to use for yourself and then if you actually 
buy something through that link, whether you buy something from our list or anything else on Amazon in general, we will still kind of get a little bit of credit for that. That goes straight to the guinea pigs. Okay, you are being surrendered. You are awfully skinny. Look at her, very skinny little thing. There's some dry poop on your nails. You are one and a half and three. So the black and brown, which must be you, are one and a half. So if you are one and a half, then there is something wrong with you because you are awfully skinny. Let me check the other one. Okay, well, um, she is also a little skinny, so we're gonna weigh them and have a feeling that I can feel the ribs real good. I can feel the, the bone here. Maybe I don't know. I can say for sure, but maybe a little extra food might might put put some weight on them. We're gonna keep an eye on that. Let's start with you, Missy. Oh, you're not a Missy. It's your boy. These claws. I'm gonna get you. Get rid of those, yeah. Now, you can see how he's putting his foot up like that. Can you see that, how it's up? Now, that's, sometimes they will do this because they have pain. Uh, maybe he doesn't want the, the toes to, to reach the ground. Sometimes they'll do it if they kind of have arthritis. Um, but yeah, when they sit like this, usually something going on. Okay, sweet boy. Good boy. Okay. Okay. I have a feeling one of them has soft poopies as well. You know, I was saying that yesterday at the, at the live as well. It's like every pig we take in, surrendered or from the shelter, they all seem to have something wrong with them that we, we can't adopt them out. We gotta fix it first. Yeah, we need to fix it first. Okay, does it feel better? Can you walk a nicer now? Yeah, I bet. You can walk much better now. Let me just do, give you the full clean up, Binky. Let's give you the full clean. Yeah, there. Yeah, I think for the appointments, this is it, which is great because all the girls, they have worked so hard this week. We have so many, uh, so many orders that's putting a big strain. We'll be hired uh, Elizabeth to help us with that because there's no way our current team would handle that and do a good job. And that's always my thing. We, If I can't do a good job, then then we shouldn't be doing it. Um, good boy. Let's get you your item next now. So they were up late yesterday. Desiree, Elizabeth, and Allison creating cages and We got a surrender of 10 single boys in that we thought was a group that happily lived together. It can happen when they're younger, it can happen. So we had that cage ready, but it turned out that they are fighting. So we had to now scramble at the end of the day to make 10 single cages. So that was really, that was tough. So the girls had to stay late and it was just, it's exhausting. So everyone deserves their break after today. Okay, mister, you ready? No, of course he says I'm not ready for this. <laughs> I'm not ready for this. Okay, let's see. Clean, you put it away. Good 
Ooh. there but it was a little dry and so I just wanted to there good job all right mister First off, get the scale. Okay, baby. Do you guys remember we took in a, a few girls like a month or six weeks ago? That had terrible bumble foot and we started soaking them on the on, on the spot there. There was one of them that was like a red-eyed um, Abyssinian lilac. I don't know if any of you remember those. But they were 100% uh, healed. Their feet healed 100% and they were adopted this week. If we had time to put all that on social media, all the things that we do, all the triumphs that we have, even the sad stuff. I mean, we would hire a full-time person because things happen here so incredibly fast that, you know, we would be posting 10 things, different things a day, you know, that everyone would like to know, actually, and would be interested in. I just took off my thing and I haven't even, my gloves, and I actually didn't even check your thingy. I'm getting distracted talking. I'm sorry, little man. Oh, okay. The little guy that was here last weekend, some of you may remember, he was the little baby blonde. He was blonde with a little white. He was a little baby. And let's check your teeth, actually. He. You got a lot of food in those bottom teeth, dude. Let me get that out. Come on, sweetheart. Come on. Let me see your teeth. Come on. It's okay. It's okay. No. Let me see. Good boy. No, I got to clean it. And I don't want to put you on your back. Okay, I'm going to have to put you on your back. Come here. Come here. Good boy. Come on. Come here. Come on, good boy. Watch, 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 watch. Well, he really doesn't like this. I don't blame you. Oh my, I don't want that to start from men and become all icky stuff and bacteria. And I think your immune system is already compromised. Uh, the movement moved it, so it will be naturally deposited. It will probably swallow it. Okay. Okay. You really have a happy camper. I'm sorry, Bubu. You got dirty outside window. You gotta clean that. Okay, put it away. This winky back in, okay? Winky back. One, two, three, winky back in. Good. Thank you. 
Yeah. Stamping the trash. <laughs> I gotta empty it out. There. Get just some of this, and we're gonna watch you like a hawk. I hope we have some space up front for him, for them, because I want to weigh him. And find your old card, because at least one of them came from here. Yeah. Let me need a bath, because look, his little feet are so dirty. Okay. Sorry. Oh, whoopsie. I want to take y'all with me. And, <laughs> okay. I only got one hand. It's not working so well. The poopies look good. Yeah, you got good poopies. Like, anyway, you know what? I'll just, uh... move them over and see what the situation is in the garage because last time I was in there there were a lot of pigs still to be checked out borders and all kinds of stuff feeding fuzzy oh I guess they made a dent here these are two new incoming piglets a surrender and oh I've left the surrender form let me go get it you want to grab that for me surrender form. Sorry. And this is your live. You can say hi. 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 Okay, so let me get the surrender form, okay? Okay, this is their information. So let me write down that I did their health check and some other notes. Oh, do we have a scale? I gotta weigh in. Do you wanna grab a scale, sweetheart? And the gray and white. Black, orange. No, no scale. Oh, right there on the, the right there. So just grab one, and put them on, and then we'll wait till the scale. Keep them on there until make him try and make him stop. Six ninety eight. That is nothing. Six ninety eight. Okay. Other one's gonna be a little more. Wait a little more. Just try and get into the middle of the scale. 802. 
That is not enough. Hello. By far not enough. They, they weigh so little, those little guys. Very sad. Tiny. Yep. Because their ages are one and a half and three. So they, a, a healthy one and a half year old male should be at least over 1,200. Now there's some that have a, just, that are just smaller that have a smaller body, you know, like people. There's different people. People that are born small, people born really tall, same with guinea pigs. But generally speaking, a healthy male should be between uh, 1,100 and could be all the way up to 1,600. Um, the doctors will probably tell you that a healthy male should be around 900 or something and 1,100 tops, but. I think they are applying bunny medicine. Bunnies are bad when they're overweight. Well, guinea pigs cannot be overweight, even though they look overweight. So it's different. A four-week-old female. Gosh, I don't weigh those very often. Because our babies usually thrive. A uh, four-week-old female. What she weigh? Females. Let's weigh our four-week-old healthy female. Then we'll have the answer. Onward bound, and we pounds. I don't know. We do grams only. You're gonna have to convert it. Um, do you want to grab? And she just put the scale. Oh, she did. Well, I'll bring it back. Thank you so much, Annie. Um, oops, that should be on its side. Um, So yeah, guinea pigs definitely, um, there's a, there's a thing about the weight. Yeah, you know, your guinea pig gets sick. I'd rather have a 1500 gram guinea pig that can withstand losing uh, 300 grams than have a 900 gram guinea pig that when he loses 300, 300 grams, then the pig is pretty much done, done for. So that is a big difference between having a nice, healthy, junky, healthy, bigger pig than a lean one, you know? And uh, so I don't believe in the, in the measuring and the weighing of the food. You gotta only give a little bit of this and a little bit of that. You know, I let them regulate their food and their own intake. So we just make sure there's plenty of everything, all the healthy stuff, and they will eat from it what they need. They don't overeat, so they'll stop. They're full, they'll stop. And um, there's lots of things to choose from, and that's it. That's how it works, really, for me and for us. That's how we've been doing, and I'm sure there's people that would say, oh, that's not the way to do it, that you're doing it all wrong, and that's fine. I always say that, it's okay. Some chunky girls, ladies at 1250, yeah, and your boys, that all healthy weights, joy. All healthy, all healthy. But just, you know, make sure you give them the healthy foods because it's easy to go for the junky uh, pellets and, you know, look at your pellet food. I don't like soy at all in the, in the food. Shouldn't be there. Soy does not belong in the food of, um, of a guinea pig or a rabbit or any, any, anyone really, to be honest. Unless it's raw soy, unless it comes, you're actually eating the bean like an edamama, then that's a whole different story. But it's so uh, processed. Um, oh, it's a little. Get her? Okay. I'm still waiting, a little girl. So try find a food that doesn't contain wheat, uh, sorry, wheat, corn, and soy. It's not easy. Garden Select from Oxbow has it. I don't know if Sherwood also has a, um, our own Piggy's Choice. She's 222. 222 is how our, our four week old female weighs. 222 grams. Fancy salads. I, Brigitte, I'm coming to you for dinner, okay? <laughs> I'm coming to you for dinner. All right, let me plug myself in, otherwise the Carol is going to yell at me. Elizabeth, what are you doing? What am I doing? 
Just go and see what else is going on here. Where's Julesy? Where did Jul? Oh, okay. They're working hard in the back. All right. So you are syringe feeding. We're gonna see. We're gonna watch you guys. You wanna get out of the sun? in the shade is why I kind of want to go Okay, so this is Alexandria. She, as you can see, has this really bad eye and I got to remember to disinfect my... Come on, sweetie. I have to clean this eye. It's so crusty. None of you guys can really see it. She has been in this state for a long time and she is a bullet pig, we just discovered. And we also discovered that there is no relation between how badly the bullet is affected and the symptoms. So she's had a chronic upper respiratory forever. She's had, she wants to eat. We just give him some extra. She's eating fine, but you know, we'll just give him a little extra syringe feed every now and then. Um, we found that there's no correlation, which is kind of scary, right? Because her bullet doesn't look so bad, but she's definitely showing all the signs of being a victim of the CBS, CBS? Calcified bullet syndrome, yeah. Victim of the calcified bullet syndrome. Um, and she's going to be on nebulizer and medication for a longer period of time to try and get this infection under control otherwise these bacteria are just going to take over and you know she's going to die so we got to somehow get this infection under control and is this one that came in today no they just found her like this do you remember her name? Oh, oh, oh oh okay she's, so she's seen. yeah i need to have a look at her as well it needs to so you guys can yap away to the live and talk about your work here. Are you okay with that? Yeah. Are you still shy? What's your name? Jolie. Tell, tell everyone hi. 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 What's Jenny. your name? Jeannie. Jenny. Jeannie. Jeannie. Everybody, welcome. I'm welcoming, introducing you to our new volunteers. Well, not new because they've been here for a while. So if you wrap her up. Get a little towel, wrap her up, or do this. Look. She's getting near the end. She doesn't want any more. <laughs> do this. You, you grab them like this. But when they're this little, mm -hmm. you you should use the little one. Because mm -hmm. that one, you can go a whole syringe and you can plunge it in in one go. Mm -hmm. Rather than, you know, we know how, exactly how much this is, but let me demonstrate. He's liking it, Julie. She is. It's a lady. Yeah, Alexandria. Oh, what a regal man. Look at her chomping away. Her little teeth. Have the whole meal in one go. Yeah, 
loves it. She's the only one I've seen who loves it. Yeah. The other two have like. Yeah, she's asking for more. She's like, please. She really is taken to it. She loves it. Yeah, well, that's that's nice, and the big syringe is good, but when they're not, you want to get. Okay. So I'm demonstrating how these can go in in one go. Actually, let me do this. I can demonstrate it. So I like feeding my pigs like this. While I'm holding them, I'm holding their head like right around here on this exact area. Then I can easily maneuver and I just go because <laughs> there. And you put the whole syringe in in one go. And then you wait till she's done and then you get another syringe. And that's the one that mouse, so you can count your mouse, yeah, and it just great. goes faster because you can that you put the one whole thing in. Mm -hmm. yeah. And don't do it too fast, of course. And you don't have to wait in between. You can literally just put the whole thing in. It's very little, really. If you actually were to put this on your hand, you'll see that it's just a, a, a little bit. It's not a lot. So let's move over to you. I can see you. Come on. Hello, move over. So either, yeah, do it like I did, and holding her head, and it takes practice. I know you got you had the positioning done so fast. Like, uh, oh, she she does not want to be in. So you gotta, okay, the other thing you gotta understand uh -huh. is that you can put in the syringe about this much in their mouth. Oh, that's so terrifying. <laughs> yeah, because they have a whole big jaw until mm -hmm. you get to where they swallow the food. So you can definitely put it in all the way like this. Right. So if you hold her back for me, hold her back. No, no, her back. Just her back. Yeah. Right. Right. See that? Good job. You saw how, how far I put it in. So mm -hmm. that's your little secrets for syringe feeding. That's great. And while you're doing it, you have to also you can do it like that. You can even you can even hold you can no you, you oh. can't because you need yeah. two hands. So you can put a little towel, tuck it in her back so she can't push backwards. And then I can. Yeah, but the best way is just to hold her the way that I showed up. That I found that to be the best way. So, talk to the live. Ooh, terrifying. Oh, it worked. She did it. Got the job. See you. I don't know her name, but we're syringe feeding her because she is very, very skinny. She's all skin and bones. You can tell as soon as I picked her up, she wouldn't fight me. She wasn't running around. But now she's kind of taking a liking to the hay as well. She also feels very yeah. light. Yeah. You want any more? So hopefully you can put on some weight, baby. Oh. Yeah. I think Alexandria's done. Like, that's enough for me. <laughs> Let's do another one. I'm so scared. Like another jaws are so big, but you know, who am I to? Please, little lady. Oh, it's the star. Please. Okay. I should be sleeping. Okay. I'll help it. Try not to do it too fast for you. I don't want you to break the tin. I don't want you to be the sun. It's getting hot out here. It's all right, baby. Wash down your critical care. Go into the sun, baby. You're, you're about to overheat. Yeah. Anything 
here for a while before. I'm going pretty slow, but I'm pretty sure Saskia went way faster than me. It was like all gone in one shot. See, it looks like she could use a bath too. I think she's getting there. Because she's the one that we were asked to feed as much as possible. Mm, true. Now I'm just cleaning her face. Do I clean it with some wipes? Yeah, I think that sounds about right. Okay. You don't want it to get all hard and awful. Yeah, it's already pretty hard. Where's the wipes? Maybe get some water and get some paper towels. Is it okay? Fuzzy bits? Yeah? Fuzzy bits, which ones? Soft bits? Whichever bit lets you go home. Okay, hey, baby. Thank you, back. All done feeding, so I'm gonna go put her back. Okay. Live, do you wanna come in and watch me do board events? I'm good. Yeah. We'll figure out. We'll figure this out. I know, I know where the girl. Do 
I'm doing. Oh, Elizabeth's got the light. I've got the Retreat. light. For them. <laughs> um, let's see. Let's set up. They probably want to see projects. Show them projects. Uh, I, like project. I was going to show them borderlands, but yeah. Oh, do, do them some, some more fun stuff. Project's boring. Project's boring. Project's passe. Oh, he hate me. He doesn't read. I don't know how to set it up. For what? For Bordermans. Show them. Like, I'm just gonna have Bordermans. I'm Actually? Be... Unless if they want to do Baby Cam or Buddha Boy Cam. No. They would like to see Mad I think they'd like to see Buddha Boy Cam. Jared wants Project. Project. Want I told you. <laughs> they want Border Cam. They want Bordermans. Millhouse is great. I'm trying to see if you can see everything <laughs> that she's gonna do. Oh, we could just like I know, Brigitte, you want Podrick? We'll see Podrick at some point. Quartermans. Set it however you want. I think lower That's might will show more. Yeah. Um I haven't prepped them yet, so we won't see pickies for a couple minutes, but then you will. I promise. Oh, let's. Do you know if we have any more false reference today? No, right? Yeah. Saskia has messed that thing up a lot. It does not stay. <laughs> Did I? Oh, I am so sorry, Elise. Let me get my phone. What? I just apparently I called the group chat. <laughs> I do that. I do that too. Um, I'm gonna start cleaning up the, the health check. Okay. I think we're good. If I think yeah. the health check's gonna be good. Okay. This. Are we done with health checks? Here, do you want it? Mats. No, you, you can take the live. She literally just spent all that time studying it. No, you should show border mats. She can take the live. You want to show the border mats? Yeah, they yeah. want to see it. Yeah, show the border mats. And then uh, while you do that, I'm going to check up on my two special kids that need my attention. Okay. <laughs> MK was shy. It's fine. Um, let's do border mats.
cucumber. So we're gonna have this. Oh shit! I'm sorry, Elizabeth. It's okay. All this time. I'm going to fill it up with him. Let's give him some medicare. Will you take this easily? Oh, he did. Saskia, look what she did. in the Buddha cage. Okay. You know what? You're banished to the Buddha okay. cage. <laughs> Buddhas, come see. What is it? What is it? Who is it? Oh, no, the camera's falling. How dare you? How dare you? <laughs> oh, Rue, why are you over there behind Heidi chattering? Because he doesn't like Okay, you know what? Holden is doing the best he can, bruh. Look at, look at La Bomba's face right now. I'm getting tender kisses. He's just sitting there with the cookie in his mouth. Um. You can eat. I know, Rue upset you by stealing your cookie, but you can eat that one. Thank you. A little bozo. They're all eating cookies. I'm sorry. Here, you can watch them. Uh, okay, good, because I just gave him both of them. 
Thank you. Because I saw them zapping the nebulizer. Yeah, they did the nebulizer. Yeah. I, I knew they did nebulizer. Chirp, chirp. But they, that's already ready for tomorrow and today, meaning they already did the House eating a cookie. That is your entertainment of the evening. Enjoy the program. Don't you take his. Rue. 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 No. No. Rue. 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 Milhouse started eating his late. You guys give him a break. Okay. Um, question, can you get a bear? He's in that Midwest. Oh, he should be the or crescent. He, I... It's coming. Okay, let's show. Whoa. This turn into Miss and very intricate octopus legs. Okay, look at my little baba. So I'm going to make him some apple too. So I got an apple. I don't know if he likes the apple, but I'm going to put my thing here so y'all can see me do my thing. I, when I have special piglets, I make special food Did you get bear? for yes, my piglets. So okay. I'm actually taking the skin of the apple off because sometimes the skin can be a little hard. So I can I can shred this, but it might still be a little hard for the pig to eat. So I'm just gonna take the skin and give it to some other piggies. And then Bye, sweetheart. Thank you, my love. Awesome okay, job. She's great. She's yeah, helping us during the week now. She's doing all the borders. Uh, kind of our Thank extra you. border person of the team, which we really need in summer. Okay, so I got my apple, and I'm just going to uh, rate it. Oh. Oh, she dropped it. Uh, okay, Carolee, do you counting? Stop it, guys. I didn't drop it. You didn't see that. <laughs> I did not do such a thing. Oh, God. Now what did I do? Oh, God. I told you, you keep losing it by when you Okay, yanking. stop, stop. I'm going to go fix it because it, I, I can. We can. need a new one. No, this it's, is fine. It's gotten loose, the, the joints, the, the twisted joints. No, we're fine. Wait, go, go the other way around. Some of that, I know. <laughs> okay, now. Um, yep, apple. I'm going to use this one because apple is kind of watery and becomes super soft. So I, I kind of can use this one. I don't need the super tiny one, which I use with apple, for in, uh, sorry, with carrot, for instance, I use the super tiny one.
tops because it's so easy to clean. So I'm just gonna give this to some lucky piglets. The Buddha boys, for instance, and this I am going to add to his little bowl. And let's go take a look at that. See if he'll want it. Look what I got. Who doesn't love apple? You like it. Good boy. Good little guy. All right, so that was a hit. That's good. That's good. Now I gotta put all the apples away that Julian so kindly brought me. Um, they are uh, severely underweight. I couldn't find anything other wrong other than that they're really skinny. So I wrote down my income and weights. Oh, is this a little problem? No. Oh. That is... Okay. That is not the Naomi person then that I handed you the paperwork for. So I don't know who these are then. Were they on the list? No. No. Did you check the list first? I didn't take them in. I don't know who did this. <laughs> okay, great. Great! Well, oh my gosh, they do, they do need us desperately. Did you, uh, I was cleaning up the front house tent. Was there a good meeting? Huh? The front house tent. What's up? Okay, that's no bueno. You can't just take in any pig that walks in. We, at the moment, we have two guinea pigs that, um, sorry, two spots for our returns only. That's it. We cannot add any more because we have so, so many come in. We are so busy. And I say this all the time, girls, but with the um summertime being here and all the borders to take care of we're done we are absolutely done i mean we can't work 24 hours a day and then we're already like exhausting ourselves right now so i'm getting a little worried about the staff as well who are working extra hours and and you know when now it's nice and cool but when it's not it is brutal to work here it really is brutal this one was on the list the one we took earlier was not and that was not checked as well so we took a surrender in this one was on the list this one was the one earlier because i was expecting a mail the one earlier, earlier was the gentleman who keeps canceling no they should there was two girls and they they said they lived as a male pair that lived together so somewhere in the chaos we took another surrender but she acted because I, I okay well then we need to put something together like check the appointment form and then check for that because if I do that in the morning oh no sorry uh, for the uh, surrender form yeah. and I print them out then that is the only th the only ones we're, we're expecting so anyone that is not one of those does not have an appointment because yeah. Yeah. we can't got them in when that guy canceled them, but she didn't tell me, I don't know. Well, then she must change that on the schedule. She, I think she, she knows that, so I think they may have just snuck in. Yeah. They may have just snuck in there, like for a guinea pig rescue so I can bring my guinea pigs there, not knowing what our situation is. But yeah, they need food, food, and more food. Correct. Why would that? <laughs> I, I think they've been... Uh, not fed enough for sure. They're young and they weigh almost half their body's weight that they should weigh. And 
And what's scary is that those are two guinea pigs adopted from us. One at least. The second one wasn't. So, and that's what's scary. You adopt them out, you hope that they're going to listen to what you said. You hope they're going to watch this, the, the, the channel. They're going to subscribe to the social media where they can get in touch with us. The Uyghurs group that is there for your questions and information and, you know, I don't know, I don't know. It's, the info is all there, so it's, it's scary. You hand someone over, you give them all the tools they need, but then we get them back looking, you know, very, very skinny without any kind of medical reason. And maybe there is a medical reason. I, I, I don't know. I don't know what the, what, what the background is, but, you know, it's always still a little sad to see. I'm going to put these in the fridge. taking him because I'm gonna have him eat grass all the time. It's disgusting over. Okay, I grew some grass in my get little yard. I grew a little grass. Yeah, okay. My little yard. Okay, buddy. So that you not go out. And no chickens can come in. Here. Now you better be good. Let's see. Okay. Oh, Have at it, kid. Have at it. Good boy. So while we watch him, I will talk. So, okay. Where do we start? Goodness, goodness, goodness. Um. Do you all remember Minnie? The one with the big tumor that we fundraised for to get her tumor removed and she was in social media she um the the doctor wanted the psychology who was going to perform the surgery he wanted to know exactly what he was dealing with um i was not the one who did the incoming intake on her um because normally you make like a ton of notes and stuff so i don't know who did but one thing that wasn't noted is that she had extremely crusty nipples so what that means is that they have some internal issues female issues they could have um, tumors in the uterus ovarian cysts if they're lucky if that's only if that's it um you know why don't you turn around dude so we can see your face yeah, but you want to see your face. Yeah. Um, and um, I, I noticed that when then did the, the, the cytology and I said, wait a second, I, I was not aware that she had, her nipples were like really bad. You know, you've seen some of the bad, bad nipples when I do my health check. They were so bad. And I'm like, wait a second. I don't think this is a candidate for surgery because she has this all this stuff going on and and I need to you know we we have to do a um and I, and I noticed some some discharge as well um, I'm like let's do an ultrasound so we did I have it all on video and sure enough many who not only had that ginormous lump many also had multiple tumors growing inside her and some adhered to her bladder which completely obviously made her not a candidate for surgery whatsoever it was so bad <clears throat> and because she couldn't really walk anymore because of a huge mess underneath her that we made the decision to put her to sleep. 
and um, that was really hard for all of us. And it was a good reminder for me to tell all the girls to please triple check when you're doing a health check. I guess they saw the big lump and just kind of stopped at that rather than, you know, looking everything over. Um, and it happens. It's you know it happens. But um, yeah, so she's she she's actually in piggy heaven. Um, and a lot of people donated toward her surgery so what i need to do is introduce a new guinea pig that her name is natalie and natalie was actually with us when she was three months she had a head tilt she was the sweetest she was blind she um uh, she was just the sweetest some of you may even remember her natalie black piggy with a little white little gray in her and um so she was returned adopted and returned recently and when i did her intake i noticed that she had some you know wet bottom and the wet bottom usually means something's up something's not right um so well, you can pull out the hair you know so what i did is i went I asked Nan to do a ultrasound on her and sure enough she said she found abnormalities within her uterus um, and I said well what does it mean an abnormality well, you know what could that be and the answer was tumors so now that is a guinea pig we can save she's younger she is only like two and a half which is very young to actually have an issue like that but she will be able to live a longer life with a spay neuter, a spay surgery, which, you know, Dr. Kepper, we have now turned mini surgery that we were gonna remove the lump and that has now become Natalie's spay surgery so that we can save Natalie and um, like we hoping to have saved mini. So that's the story with that. Uh, very sad but that's it now the other news which is not very nice news either is you know we have some of our boarders and they come and they stay here for a while and uh, we get very attached to them and one of such boarders is zap we've done some videos on him he actually features in quite a few videos and um, and we love him he's just such a oh, he's just such a funny pig and so much personality and we can go and see him in a little bit actually um, and uh, so Zab didn't eat his dinner the other day and we have him here up the front because he's an older man and we like to keep the older boarders here he's a boarder who is here frequently so um, immediately we know something's up because guinea pigs don't leave their breakfast okay they, they just don't they don't not not eat their food unless they really don't like what you're feeding them um, so luckily that day dr. Nan was here so we did an x-ray on him and a ultrasound and we discovered that he has a massive massive stone in his kidney it's stuck in there and some smaller stones in his bladder he is too old for surgery and we've spoken to uh, I've spoken to his owner we were both crying on the phone and he said you know just treat him like he would be your like he's your piggy and when you feel the time has come then please don't hesitate don't wait I don't want him suffering so Yeah, so that's that's that. That's what I'm dealing with, and I am of the new batch. I know Zep the best because he's been coming for years. So I am the one who really, really has a very strong bond with him. Um, because I just, you know, some guinea pigs you gravitate towards, and he's just one of those. So that is uh, something that 
that is likely going to happen this week. We're keeping him pain free and he's eating, but his owner made it very, very clear he does not want him to suffer one day. So, watching him like a hawk and uh, making the right decision when, when the time is going to come and that, that likely will be this week. <laughs> Yeah, but you know, good thing he's here because other boarders that are not specialized in guinea pigs may not, boarding places may not have recognized anything or may not have known that this is a big no-no or because it's extraordinarily painful. Anyway, so there, that's uh... That's the horrible news. And then we took in, oh, I don't I don't even know. But we're done taking in for now. We're done, and the only thing that we have to keep taking in, and that is our own returns. And even they are on a, um, before I would just send the surrender link. Like, yeah, go ahead, you know, because we would have at least six surrenders per Saturday. Those days are over, so I would send a, an invitation. Go surrender your guinea pig. Make, make, you know, here's the link by invite only. And then I would check it. Like anyone, you know, is not on the list or wasn't invited, cancel that appointment. So that was a system that really worked well. We had to stop that. Um, and now we only manually put in those appointments. And and even the people that are returning guinea pigs. They have a wait list too, which is horrible because a lot of times they have to return them right now and they can't, they don't want to wait like three weeks. So, but that is the only thing. Ah, oh, you are happy old man. Yes. That is yummy, huh? Yeah. Should have you here more often. I could never do this with Trisket. Trisket would just go roam around the place and there's all kinds of areas here where. They could possibly get through and get out and uh, no, not good. I'm a little man, you're a good boy. He's getting old. We're starting to see, oh, he's just washing and now he's got little two milky eyes. That's his little washing fluid. Now you're gonna wash your face with those, buddy. Now you're supposed to put those on your paws and wash your face. Come on, show us how it's done. Almost did it. <laughs> He's becoming old. I love him. Yeah, much better than that stuff they fed you there, huh? So yeah, I started growing this. I, I, I separated it so the chickens cannot come. And that made all the difference. So this is a giant sunflower. And these are my beans. This is my collard, my huge collard plant. And then this is the grass that just miraculously grew the minute I uh, banned it for the chickens. And on the other side, you will see nothing grows because that's the chicken area. <laughs> and those are the mint, which of course is for whoever likes it. I got lots of it. So that was kind of the week. And I'm sure I'm forgetting stuff. Incoming pigs, more drama, more shelter. Oh yes, I, I remember now. There was a guinea pig that uh, we literally rescued at the last 40 minutes of his life. The, the shelter was threatening to put him down because he had an infection. He actually lives right next to Zep right now. He had an infection, which is not a reason to put down. It was actually very mild. And Claire tried to reason with the shelter, like, listen, that is not a reason to put down the animal. That's not a health reason to put him, the animal down you just maybe don't understand it let me explain it let me go there let me show you guys how to do it you know it's something 
maybe you need to do every week maybe every once a month i mean it's not a big deal don't put the guinea pig down for it but they were adamant uh, the vet said we just don't have time for this i mean okay great so we ended up with him he's very sweet but that was another unexpected one and we cannot go on like this by the way guys we can because we're full absolutely full i know i say this all the time um but then we do get some new pigs if we have adoptions we have some new pigs but right now it's really super crisis mode super crisis mode and it's it's killing me because they literally are killing guinea pigs right now in the shelters here but then you also have to look at it listen not everybody can do this work you have to be realistic if i were one of those people that would get hysterical every time i hear about a guinea pig in need or the shelter threatening or i mean then i couldn't do this i would be emotionally drained i i, I would be <clears throat> after 20 years of doing this or longer now 23 I uh, would, there's, there's no way, I can't do it. But a lot of people are like that though. And uh, that, I, I don't, you know, they, they, they probably shouldn't because it takes a super toll on them. Not that I'm not empathetic because I, I really, really am. But in rescue, you have to keep your cool and you have to know your limits. You have to know your limits and a lot of rescues get in trouble because they don't and they can't say no and they don't want to say no and then sometimes I feel like people think we're the bad guy because we we cannot take in the guinea pig I mean a gentleman was here the other day with two guinea pigs and like here I'm bringing you two guinea pigs and uh, we were like uh, nope nope you can't we're not taking any guinea pigs i'm really sorry here's the shelter we, we cannot you have people daily coming at the door wanting to give us the guinea pigs if we were to take all of them i mean no we would we, we would be on the news as like a hoarder case you know we would be someone like me coming in to, <laughs> to rescue the guinea pigs so and this man was just not taking an answer no for an answer. He's just not understanding it. Well, you have that many. Can you not just have two more, you know? And and it's like, no, because you're not the only two more and two more and two more. I mean, you, no, well, you're not just the first to ask for, can you not just take two more? People don't understand. And he kept asking and he kept keeping us, you know, occupied. And we didn't want to say, sorry, dude, you just gotta go because we can't help you honestly we can't and he wouldn't leave and we didn't take his guinea pigs in the end but he kept uh, a whole bunch of us talking for a long time um, and, and then just wasn't getting it just wasn't getting it and then it's like uh, where the guinea pigs from here then you can bring them back that's the other thing you know if you, if you adopt from a rescue if there anything happens in your life, anything catastrophic, any changes, anything at all, doesn't matter, but that you cannot get take care of the guinea pigs anymore, you can bring them back. But if you got them from the pet store or anywhere else, then we we can't, we don't have we, we don't have that same commitment that we make to the guinea pigs that were adopted from here. Um so because the guinea pigs that we rescued, we are committed to them 100%. So if they need to come back, then they are coming back. And that's actually in the contract. People cannot barter, trade, sell, you know, give away any of the animals that they adopt from here. They have to be returned. That's how I want it. I don't know where they're going to end up. I want to see the, meet the people that adopt the guinea pigs. So. Well, I don't know why people s still say, I, I, okay, I need to look at her channel and, and just see what's going on, if there's new footage there. Because from what I understand, it's old footage and, and she's not breeding. Want some little this one? I got one. He's like, no, why would I want your one when I've got all the other ones? 
No, I, I know, I get it, buddy. Oh, wow, my leg is just completely oh, in at sleep. <laughs> Gonna be a while before I can walk. I'm stretching my foot. No, Brigitte, that, that gentleman, that, yes, that was his channel, but he is no longer in charge of that channel, from what I understand. It is his wife, who is actually called Annabelle Temple. But before that, it was him. So I don't think that Annabelle is actually creating new videos and breeding again. But I will look at the channel and I'll be able to tell if those are old, you know, new videos or... And yeah, he's out of the picture. That house that you're seeing in all these old videos. If you're seeing videos being posted with that house, that is not new, okay? Because that house was condemned. Wait, did you leave the guinea pig out on the grass? Yep. Talking about this guy here? I did. He's, I know he's not gonna go anywhere. He's just uh, enjoying the buffet. It's different with a guinea pig. I know he's gonna roam and run around, but I know this guy's just gonna sit, plump, plump himself down and eat. Right, buddy? Hey, chickens, what are you doing? Hi, baby. I got these be beautiful, big, 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 big roosters. They're so beautiful now. And I got four new little chicky chicks. Yeah, I'm getting a little scared. He's getting really old. He's he's getting all the support stuff. He's, he's getting the CBD and a little Medicam if you feel that he's got a hard time with his arthritis, but I don't, CBD works better anyway, but you know. No, definitely not Ron, not mowing the lawn. I am so happy I've got some grass because um, whenever we have pigs that don't eat well, that are not feeling 100%, they don't want to eat, but guess what? They will eat the grass. They will eat fresh grass. This is why I am such a fan of grass because they not only love it, but it is one of the most healthsome, healthiest and closest to nature foods that you can give your guinea pig. Yeah. Well, this is nice, all quiet. Nice snuck out, nobody knows. They're all looking for me. <laughs> Thinking I'm somewhere over there and I'm hiding right here. Okay, well, I gotta pluck some grass for, for Zappy. I'm not going to be careful when I pluck it because I don't want to take the roots out. So i got to yank it sideways real fast. I don't take the roots. And this here, oops, that's a Canadian horse tail. They can eat it, but not too much of it. I'll just stay away from it. And just grab a little piece of color green. The tree will let me. Thank you very much for your sacrifice. <laughs> and let's see. Come on, buddy. Let's go back. Are you ready? I know you're not ready. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, baby. Okay, here we go. Come on. Here. Well, you can still nibble. Well, 
Do you want that? You want a nibble? Of course you do. Mm. Oh, look. It's a kill. That is a legitimate kill tree. Isn't that cool? Let me grab a piece of that too. In fact, let's take two pieces of that. Yeah. And I'm growing the flower, sunflower, and I'm letting it go. I want the seeds because this is a giant, actually, giant, super, like one of the biggest. Um, and uh, so I want to get a lot more seeds because they're expensive to buy. So, and then I can put the whole ranch full of sunflowers. <laughs> That make me so happy because they're one of my favorite flowers, actually, sunflowers. Yeah. Okay, hold on, kid, because I got like I'm holding food and I've only got one hand. I gotta open the gate and then I gotta oh make sure you're safe. Okay, and now you're nipping on my finger. Sure, why not? Are you mad? Are you mad? Maybe a little bit. Oh, shoot, step. That would not be good. Okay. Sorry for the closeness. Okay. Stop it. You're being all fidgety, mister. You're making it dangerous for me. I know. All right, back in the madness. We had a nice little talk with, with him eating grass in my little yard. <clears throat> okay, <laughs> so, let's go see Zap and his buddy and the color green for who needs it and who wants it. Oh, Zappy, my love! Hi, Zap! Hi, baby! You're looking good. You got lots of food. Are you eating any of it? Okay, here, let me get you some grass. So you see he has a romaine, apple, pepper, carrot, all kinds of stuff in his cage. But what he wants to eat, he's not really eating it. He's got coriander there as well. As well. He wants to eat the grass. Yeah. I made most of the and now I'm going to work So he looks pretty good right now. Pretty happy. I'll take some photos of him tomorrow. Well, thank you, April. Oh my God. Wait, isn't is it just gonna screw up after I don't know. Do you know what happened at all these days when you do this check? She got something like going on. She's gonna be like, Yeah, you do? No, 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 no. I washed the three and then I wanted to start checking their bottoms because I wanted to know if something is new or if Problems there, Hey, do we know? Did anyone try to fix these lights? Uh, no. You think they to wait to plug them in or something? Yeah, Oh, he has to get something for it? Yeah, he has to get a password. He's going to get the wall lights. I don't know. I think there's a lot going on. What? You have so much different food in your carry? In your you're still begging me for more stuff? Okay, I guess you like it. Here, fine. Take my last piece of colored. I feel like we added somebody that's not on the binder. He purrs. He's such a lover. I don't know. Hey, Dad, do you know where the... Um, Does he vibrate? Uh, 
I know. Did you see that? So sweet. So tomorrow I'm gonna take some nice video of him and some photos. He's Ask for that. Plus, I, I like to have that for myself. I might even make him into like one of our vectors, you know, one of our art projects. So, my little pony, really. My my little pony is now pony. supporting pride, whether they like it or not. Oh, it's that's a why I'm wearing it. It's a rainbow. I think I bought this as a sleep shirt. <laughs> I can't help it, okay? It's my childhood. <laughs> okay. It, it looks cute. It looks cute. So as you can see, we're wrapping up. We're going to still have to do the floors and it'll all get done. And I've taken care of my special kids, which I'll be visiting tonight again. I always do make sure they're good and give them extra food. Turn off the air when it goes down. Turn off the air because you need this on when it turns down. I, I, I turn it off. It gets really cold in here really quick. And someone says, I love Julia's shirt. So, but I'm exhausted still from yesterday. So, I'm going to say goodnight. <clears throat> So I can uh, focus on, I don't know what I'm going to eat. I'm like all excited about my food, I don't know. But I really want to just sit, watch TV, and, and, and eat. <laughs> Veggie grill. Veggie grill. Maybe if I can get, get ordered. Someone. They don't really deliver here. So. They deliver through Uber Eats. I've gotten them delivered. Really? Yeah. Oh, well, you can try that. You have to pay the delivery fee, but yeah, I, I, I'm not, convenient because it's, it's far enough away that it's worth it. It's, it's a little expensive, so I, I, I try to keep it to a minimum, but I think after this weekend... Well, you I, treat yourself I, after, like, like I you know, treat, multiple yeah, days okay. of hard work. We deserve a treat. Good night, you guys. I love you all. Thank you so much for following us today on this day. And everybody say goodbye. Bye. 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 I'm over here. Uh, <laughs> bye. I love you guys. <laughs> love you guys. Thank you to my mods. Thanks, Brigitte, for the timestamps. Thank you, everybody who helped last night to work supporting us i just I, I love you all i really do okay i'm gonna put some posts out let people know about minis set stuff but it's got to be down all right love you all big